Hi, I'm Joe Wilder, back again for another installment in a series of videos on how to use the lab equipment. In this video, my partner Casper and I are going to cover how to use the benchtop power supplies and multimeters available in the robotics lab. The lab multimeters can be used to measure voltage, resistance, current, and capacitance in circuits. The four buttons shown here control what the multimeter is measuring. They're labeled with the units of which of those four characteristics they correspond to. For each setting, you can adjust the scale of the multimeter's readings using these buttons here. For example, say you're trying to find the resistance across these three resistors. We know one's a 10 kilo ohm resistor, one's a 2 kilo ohm resistor, and one's a 1 kilo ohm resistor, but we're going to pretend we don't know. So first we have to attach the positive and negative leads of the multimeter. Now that we've set up our circuit, let's turn on the multimeter and measure the resistance across the three resistors. Before we start, we want to make sure that we don't have any power supplies or other devices hooked up to our circuit. The flow of current impedes the measurement process and will give you false results. Let's turn on the device. We'll set it to kilo ohms to measure resistance, and then we'll select an appropriate scale. We expect the total resistance to be approximately 13 kilo ohms. So we'll select 20 kilo ohms, the next highest option. There, 12.9, or approximately 13 kilo ohms. Now let's try to measure another quantity, such as voltage. I'll start by attaching the leads of the power supply to the circuit we built earlier. Currently, I have the power supply to set to provide 3 volts. Now let's attach the leads of the multimeter to the blue jumper wires which are connected to each end of the middle resistor. Now that we've set up our circuit, let's try to measure the voltage across the middle resistor. First, we'll power on the multimeter. Next, we'll select volts and choose an appropriate scale. Because this is the middle 10 kilo ohm resistor, we expect it to be approximately 70% of the total voltage. So we'll select 20 volts. There, 2.2 volts. We know this number sounds about right because 10 kilo ohms is about 70% of the total resistance, 13 kilo ohms. What if we want to measure another quantity, such as current flowing through our circuit? For this, we'll have to change our setup a little bit because current is measured in series rather than in parallel, such as voltage. Now, you'll want to turn on the multimeter, set it to milliamps for current, and adjust the scale appropriately. As shown here, we have about 0.9 milliamps flowing through this circuit. The benchtop power supply is a straightforward and useful tool that functions as a power source for the circuits you create in lab. Using the power supply can be advantageous because unlike batteries and other power sources, the voltage and current output of the power supply can be controlled by the user. The power supply has three output channels. Channel 1 and 2 allow the user to set the output voltage and current limit. Channel 3 is set at a fixed output of 5 volts, with a current limited to 3 amps. To see how this works, let's first turn the power supply on. Say for some circuit we're building, we want a 3.3 volt signal, limited to 0.5 amps. We could accomplish this on either channel 1 or 2, but we'll use channel 1. So let's turn the voltage knob to display 3.3 volts. And we'll turn the current knob to display 0.5 amps. This means that the supplied current will be less than or equal to 0.5 amps. Now connect the power and ground wires with the positive and negative leads from the power supply and then press the output button. Pressing the output button tells the power supply to actually start providing the set voltage. Only press this button once your circuit is set up and the power source is connected. Also ensure that the output is turned off before disconnecting or changing your circuit in any way. And that's pretty much it. As with all lab equipment though, remember to treat these tools with respect and be sure to leave your workspace as you found it.